The U.S. Labor Department says return to office rates last month were at their highest level since the start of the pandemic. While some credit the jump with tougher return to work policies, there is still the issue of office buildings in major U.S. cities remaining half empty. According to Castle Systems, which tracks security card swipes, office attendance in the last week of September dropped to 49.7 percent across America's 10 largest cities. For more on the effects, let's bring in Market Watch reporter Andrew Keschner. Andrew, tell us what factors are keeping office vacancy numbers so low, and do you think that this trend will continue? Yeah, I, I mean, to answer the second question first, honestly, yes, I think this is, <laughs> this is as good as it gets, in my opinion. Uh, I, there, there's a lot of things going on here. Um, number one is, I, I think so many workers have become uh, used to at least a couple days at home that I'm um, five days back in the office. I mean, that seems like an eternity and that seems like just something that is not even argued about anymore. What, what, what we argue about, what management and work workers argue about are two days, three days, maybe even four. But, um, you, you know, it seems like there's just been this shift where hybrid is this new normal. And so given that so many workers want to stay working from home at least part of the time, are you seeing anything innovative that, that companies are trying to do to try and get people back into the office? You know, I, I, you hear around uh, various anecdotes here and there. I mean, you know, things like um, maybe there's some like food enticements or 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 great events after work. Um, I actually talked to someone the other day who they w when they come in, those days are labeled team building days. Um, so they're they're really trying to emphasize the the culture of it and just um, in 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 building those bonds with people. Uh, but again, they're running up against this ingrained expectation now um, of at least some days at home. Um, and also other things like a commute and housing and a tight work and a tight job market where, I mean, bosses, what are they what are they really going to do if they really don't want if they want someone who's not cooperating? Are they going to fire them? I don't know. Mm, well, let's talk about the real estate aspect of it and the impact that having people continuing to work from home and having these vacant storefronts, these vacant office buildings. What impact does that have on local economies? Yeah, so it, I mean, it's kind of this tale of two, of two different places. I mean, you think about places like the suburbs, uh, ringing major metropolises, and you see the research that there's been this increase in in home prices, uh, and uh, um, and in which which makes sense. Uh, you know, something that started you know early in the pandemic, and you know we've still still seen that on the. On the flip side, in cities, I mean, you see a lot of cities that are uh, struggling um, with losing all that foot traffic, um, that mm -hmm. day, you know, Monday through Friday foot traffic. Um, and, and that it, has implications, to, obviously, for transit, for the, uh, the people who work at newsstands or uh, restaurants around those businesses. So I'm wondering, Andrew, if people don't return to the office, are city officials, local officials doing anything to try to maintain or enhance the local economies? Because we're seeing, especially here in New York, with all these empty storefronts, that, that it is taking a toll on the city itself. Yeah, I mean, one idea is maybe reconverting old office space into new apartments, but there's lots of challenges there. Uh, it just uh, building codes and um, enticing developers to, to redevelop it and how much space you get out of it. So it's this uh, really challenging moment for them. All right. Andy Kashner working from home himself today. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thanks.